India's annual merchandise exports have hit $400 billion for the first time, achieving the target set by the government nine days ahead of schedule. The milestone comes even as Commerce and Industry Minister Piyush Goel warned that the Russia-Ukraine war could lead to some disruption in trade. The government is confident of clocking $410 billion of exports by March 31st as India has been shipping out goods worth more than $1 billion a day. Prime Minister Narendra Modi was quick to hail the exporters. He praised farmers, weavers, MSMEs, manufacturers and others for the success. The $410 billion figure would be far higher than the previous record of $330 billion achieved in 2018-19 and 41% higher than the previous financial year when India exported goods worth $291 billion. Goyal said that to achieve the target, a detailed strategy was in place including specific country-wise, product-wise and export promotion council-wise targets, monitoring and course correction. He said that higher engineering exports, apparel and garment export indicate that the misconception of India being a major exporter of primary commodities is gradually changing. India is now exporting more and more value-added and high-end products, he said. Engineering goods, petroleum products, gems and jewellery, chemicals and ready-made garments of all textiles were the top five commodities exported from India. Exports of engineering goods rose 32% in the first 11 months of this fiscal compared to the last financial year. It remained the biggest export item. Within this category, top exports were iron and steel, aluminium and aluminium products, electric machinery and motor vehicles. Exports of petroleum showed the sharpest jump of 114% driven by a rise in crude oil prices. Meanwhile, agriculture exports hit a record driven by commodities such as rice, marine products, wheat, spices and sugar, among others. I think what is really significant is the fact that engineering goods, electronics, as well as chemicals and other commodities, petroleum particularly, you know, petroleum and petroleum products that are pushing or that have really contributed to this increase in overall exports. What is relevant here is the fact that as far as engineering goods are concerned, uh, or all of these are concerned, there is both a combination of price as well as volume effect, you know. Uh, the price effect, of course, would be more apparent as far as oil and oil products or petroleum products is concerned. Uh, notwithstanding this, however, I think there is an increase in exports of engineering as well as, um, you know, petroleum and petroleum products in an overall sense. Uh, from what I see reported widely, uh, as far as electronic goods are concerned or chemicals are concerned, we don't really know whether there has been an increase in volumes as well, because the shipments as far as movement is concerned is not very significant in that case, you know. Plus, as far as chemicals and electronics are concerned, apparently what we see is that the share of these two sectors in total exports for the country remain the same, you know, so that's not changed much. So the big change is really from the engineering sector, which I think is a huge positive development for Indian exports. Despite the record export figure, India's merchandise exports to GDP ratio has been on a declining trend. It stood at 10.94% in FY21, falling from 11.07% the previous year and 12.2% in FY19. While this ratio will show an improvement this year, it will still be nowhere near the record seen more than a decade ago. How we really need to interpret these increase, this increase in exports is as a ratio of the GDP, you know. By this increase to 400 plus billion dollar exports that we have in FY 2022, we've only been able to recover to a level, to a ratio of GDP, you see, where we were about four or five years ago, you know. Uh, recouping the kind of loss that has been made since then. And we are not as yet anywhere close to where we were a decade ago. You know. As far as 2011-12 is concerned, we had a share of exports merchandise exports in our total GDP to be about 18%, which was an increase from 14% that we had registered in 2009-10, which was an immediate aftermath of the global financial crisis. So that's where we were at about 18% a decade ago, and that's where we need to get back to. What we need, therefore, is for the export growth not just to be sustained, but also to be enhanced to get back to where we were a decade ago. And for that, we would need the right kind of trade policies, two of which I think I'd like to highlight. One, which would be in terms of um, deepening FTAs with the, with the right kind of partner economies, you know. And two would be a greater amount of investment that we would need in trade infrastructure, you see, particularly as far as logistics is concerned, transport, as well as in services that support merchandise exports, 
like um, transportation and distribution services. I think that's the kind of emphasis that we need in the coming years or the coming months to be able to sustain and to be able to enhance the rate of growth to be where we were a decade ago. While the surging trend in exports is praiseworthy, the momentum is likely to sustain with proactive measures like the signing of free trade agreements and the expansion of flagship export promotion scheme RODTEP to sectors like iron and steel and pharma. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.